Hi, today what we're going to do is a real basic quick video on including a feed generated with RSS's feed generator uh, in a WordPress uh, blog post. As you can see, I'm logged into uh, my RSS uh, feed generator account here at rsss5me.com. And I'm going to do a generic feed on, of all things, RSS technology today. I've gone ahead and entered that already kind of to speed up the video. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and tag it now. And for our members, tagging is important. And I'll show you why after I uh, complete this, uh, this, this task. Anyway, uh, one of the tags, of course, I'm going to put in there is RSS. I'm going to put in feeds. Um, how about technology? Uh, that'll be enough tags for this particular feed. Um, now, to populate my feed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to uh, Google's blog search, and I've already done a feed looking for using RSS in the blog post title on Google Blog Search is my source for this feed. I'm going to go ahead and sort this by date. That's going to make sure I have the most current information available. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the RSS feed uh, that accompanies that post. I'm going to copy it drop it into RSSify me and I've also gone over to the digital point forum on RSS feeds um, so this entire forum is about RSS technology and when you know their forum happens to have um, an RSS feed um, and I'm gonna go ahead like I'm subscribing to it here in Firefox and then I've got the feed URL here for this forum and I'm gonna copy it okay I'm gonna drop that in as my second feed now, I'm just using a little bit. I'm just going to augment a post, and you can actually read the post and see what the post was about. The post is just about actually doing what you're watching me do here. So I'm just putting a little extra information about RSS into the post using some additional content to augment my own writing. So I'm going to be a little bit um, less uh, using of other people's content here. I just need a couple feeds. So what I'm going to do, I'm only going to take one from the forum. And a lot of times, if you're going directly to, let's say, somebody's individual blog, uh, or you're going to a forum or someplace where all the links are going to lead to the same place, the best thing you can do is use only one item from that feed. And from the blog source, I'm going to go ahead and leave that one at three. And I'm just not going to use a, a third feed at all. That's going to come up with four items here. Um, the table frame width, I'm using this in WordPress, 500 pixels should work out well uh, for this application. I want to make this, this uh, content just kind of as usable as possible because we're actually going to change the theme on the WordPress blog. Uh, so I'm just going to go with uh, uh, some you know, uh, typical blue colored links. And we'll give it a link hover color that's maybe a lighter shade of blue. Um, font color, we're going to go ahead and leave black. We'll go with 12 point. Um, Arial font that should fit well on the blog that I'm going to put this on. And this is just like the other video you may have watched already, just the basis of using RSS to find me. Uh, I'm going to say I don't I want my links to open a new window. That way people don't leave my website. They stay on my site. And I'm going to hide the RSS titles, um, which is going to make my content look a lot more seamless. And I'm going to go ahead and preview it. Okay, so here I have my content, four items just as I've decided I wanted. Notice I've got key terms in the titles. And... Uh, that's going to fit great with my RSS uh, article. I like it, so I'm going to say RSSify. That's actually generated the code, so this is now my account, and I can reuse this feed, alter it for later use. I'm just going to grab this code, copy it. I'm going to come over to my blog post that I was working on, and I've written up the post, and you can go ahead and read it if you'd like to to get you know kind of the understanding of what I've done here. But if you'll notice, I'm in my HTML view. Now, I've installed a plugin, and we'll put a training video on how to install this plugin um, in the back office for members. Uh, but if you know how to install WordPress plugins, it's pretty simple. You FTP it to your plugin directory and you activate it. Then all you need to do is make sure whenever you are actually posting with uh, the PHP code that you have Run PHP selected for that post. And you'll want to make sure you edit an HTML view. Just go ahead and copy and paste that HTML or the PHP include code that you've generated from RSSify me into here. The important thing is if you ever come back to edit this, you need to make sure you're set to edit in HTML mode. If you pull this up in the visual mode, it will alter this code and it won't work. So anytime you're doing PHP uh, direct work in WordPress, you need to stay in the HTML view. A real simple way you can do that is maybe create two user IDs for yourself, uh, maybe like uh, user number one and user number two in WordPress. And whenever you're doing RSS work, um, where you're using code level work, always log in as user 2 and set user 2 to always use HTML in your admin functions. That's one way you can handle that. So anyway, I've got that in there. I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And we'll go ahead and visit the site now. As you can see, I have this content 
it's uh, included right in with my blog post and I may have to go through and make sure that the font maybe I'll have to edit this a little bit and make the font match perfectly but we haven't settled on what our styles for the blog are going to be yet but I can certainly make these two pieces of content look identical you can see it says more about RSS technology. I'll probably go ahead and bold this. When you're looking at it, you'll probably see it bold. But the important part is, is here are these items that are taken right out of RSSify, dropped into my uh, blog post. They fit perfectly with the concept that the post is about. And they give me all this extra content, all this extra keywords, all this value add. And unlike scraped content, remember, if you come, when you look at this uh, on our blog, if you're looking at it right now, you probably won't see using RSS to pick up uh, Australia crime content because it'll have changed by then because it's using a feed that's constantly updating. Uh, the odds that it'll say need an idea about selling a domain for a good price from the RSS form at Digital Point uh, it, it's almost inconceivable that'll be the case because this form's probably updated every five seconds. So all of these links are going to change. All this content is going to constantly update it, and it's it's blended with the static content that I actually did. And where you see video right here, uh, the video that you're uh, watching now is embedded there. Um, I had to do this video in advance of the post, uh, so of course I wasn't able to include it at this time. So that's a basic use of RSSify me into a WordPress uh, blogging post. It's probably not the way that you're going to use RSSify me on a daily basis, but it's a nice addition. And, and kind of a simple thing you can do is just put one item from a feed and have that constantly update. That'll make like all of your uh, content on your blog is constantly being updated. It'll make it more attractive uh, to both readers and to search engines.